Hi, third graders, Mrs. D here. In this very short video, I want to show you how you can represent whole numbers bigger than one as fractions. So I'm just going to draw a figure here. I'm going to make it a square. I have one square here. So this is the whole number one. And by whole number, I mean no parts. There's no fraction here. This is a whole number. I have one square. Mrs. D wants to teach you that you can represent any whole number as a fraction. So whole numbers have fraction names too. This is how you do it. To represent a whole number, you write the whole and you make one the denominator. So this is what you say. You say one, and then when you see the one on the bottom as the denominator, you say whole. This means one whole. I'm gonna do the same thing now, except I'm going to draw two squares. So if I ask you to count the squares, you would all easily tell me, Mrs. D, there are two squares there. I'd like to tell you that you can write two, the number two, as a fraction. It can be expressed as a fraction with one as the denominator. It looks like this. When you see this, boys and girls, you say two holes because that's what this fraction represents. Now, just like we learned, the denominator always represents the total number of parts the whole is divided into. These holes, though, are whole. They're not divided into any equal parts. And that's what that one means. A whole number can be represented as a fraction with a denominator of one. This means the same as this. I'll so with three squares. One, two, three. If I asked you to count those, you'd easily tell me, Mrs. D, clearly there are three squares. Three is a whole number. The whole number three can be expressed or written as a fraction with a denominator of one. When you see this, boys and girls, and the denominator is one, it means holes. So to say it, you would say the words three holes. That's what this fraction represents. So boys and girls, anytime you have a fraction with the denominator of one, that one represents holes, and you can represent any whole number as a fraction with the denominator of one. This means 10 holes. This means 25 holes. This means eight holes. All of these fraction names represent whole numbers. Eight holes represents the number eight. 25 holes represents the number 25. And 10 holes represents 10. So boys and girls, this is how you can write whole numbers as a fraction with a denominator of one.